Okay, welcome to my shop. So I have everything open. What we're going to do here is we're going to get this workbench deal out of the way right now. Because there are other things I want to get on touch with. So this is where you will be repairing your parts. And what we're going to, I'm going to do is I'm going to explain this. Because there are going to be people out of 2015 that are going to be like, What is going on here? Or, or whatever. So... I, I'm not about trying to protect the game or anything else like that. I'm going to tell you like it is. You can count on that. So let's go back way, way, way in the beginning when all this originally started. And then you'll have a clearer understanding of what's going on here. Okay, a long time ago there was a game called 2014. And over here we had our cars there. You dealt with them. Now, in the work orders... There were people that would need a part repair, but they didn't have the money. I heard I have my I, I heard I can have my starter repaired here. It barely works, but I don't have money for a new whole new one. Can you repair it for a hundred? Now, the way this game works is that if you notice here, it says a hundred. Okay, so so you know up front that's exactly what you're going to get paid out of this. So whatever it costs to repair it will be spent. You're not getting reimbursed that. I don't care if you buy it new, you're not getting reimbursed that. But whatever is here is what you'll get paid. So if a guy needs a bunch of stuff replaced and this says $300, whatever parts you spend on come out of that $300. Whatever is left, you get. So sometimes, if the customer can't afford it, well, then you have to get paid something. Because if you don't do it here, you'll be broke. Because the new one costs actually more. There it is. Okay. I got so spoiled on the other way. There it is. So there you are. It costs 200. So therefore you get the read, which, which you could say is pretty accurate for something like that. But it'll come partially out of here and you will be paid something. So it's not like you're going to be, a, not, it's not like it's going to be a total waste of money. It's going to end up being done. It's just that it's, that's how this repair bench was originally supposed to work. You're giving people a break. And then you get whatever's left. And you get paid it. So in 2014, in 2014 that was a, uh, an issue that they were talking about up there on the forums that Besides having the ability to restart, restore cars, that if the job costs three hundred dollars, you're getting paid the three hundred dollars, and for what it is for the parts, that's that's all part of the job. So the customer has to pay for those parts. You shouldn't have to be. Uh, it doesn't work the other way. So Red Dot changed all that, and plus adding in the ability to restore cars, well, they had the workbench that is placed in here. And you can just go in here and uh, restore your part as you go along, depending on where it is. If it makes this one whole piece, just go about your business. And as you see, some of the stuff is showing up, which is cool, because when you go to restore cars, because you're restoring your own, uh, shop supplies and stuff like that are redundant because you've been that's going to be part of the sale it's going to be part of the jobs you do so that's the way that was going and but the problem came was the work order and in the work order it shows you the minimum and red dot made it clear once before the reason for the minimum is the car condition that way 
if it if you need a part if the part has to be replaced it's not going to tell you replace with a brand new part all parts have to be 100% because these cars are coming in with wear and tear to almost like as you can see with this one breakdown condition but there are only certain parts that are on this car that have to be replaced it did put down that this car had to be a hundred percent and this car came in with all these little problems that it has every time you take off a part and then put the part back on it will add to the list next thing you know you're rebuilding the customer's car so this has always been a leeway it doesn't matter if it's 2015 it doesn't matter if it's 2018 this is a leeway for the purpose so you can release the car so as a mechanic in the shop you're supposed to only replace what is broke down and what has to be nothing more nothing less that's it because what you rebuild at this repair table you will not be reimbursed when it goes on that customer's car and this work order is already going to be set up for the bonus based on the task you're doing so it has absolutely nothing to do with the part that's on here it's the money that you spend to get this job done that has the uh, effect here of what you're getting back so between completing the task and the bonus for completing the task will add to the money that's spent and then you get your total this has never changed because I explained this already for 2018 so you basically are doing all your parts with no cost because after all this is going in your car is it somehow players found out that if they get a customer's car in with parts that are still in good shape with low resource they would turn around and get themselves an auction car that matches the customer's car and then what they'll do is is they'll take the parts off of here build work on it here to match this minimum condition and then steal all the new parts off of the car that's what they did they were bragging about it on the forms there's actually quite a few of them that were doing it and yeah I know you can run the shop any way you want I've always stated that but that's what was going on and there were many of uh, other players including myself that chastised that because you're running a dirty shop you're stealing from the customer to put it on this car that you're supposed to be taking old parts restoring it at this table like you're supposed to be and then whatever breaks replace brand new so that you can have your restored version of the car but instead they're stealing the parts and there are other people who had problem with some of the stuff they were doing because they were taking the old part here going here and only doing what they need to return it to this condition or better just a little bit so they can get all this and release it who takes a car into a customer's car like a dealership and doesn't get new parts put on the car I know it doesn't work that way in the US if one of these dealerships out here like Chevy or Ford did that they'd be in the heat of trouble sitting in court only only a small shop mechanic in the middle of nowhere would maybe might pull a stunt like that and not all of them do that so the idea is and it always has been when you have the customer's car you replace it with a brand new part because you're getting the money back you haven't lost nothing and you're getting this is for the jobs so this is paying you for the work you're 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 not losing a dime here there is just no it, it it makes no sense to restore it here to put it here because it does it does not add to the bonus and it does not add here and it's not going to add here that was what the purpose of the of restoring the cars are because when you restore the cars are you get the restoration bonus get versus the car value because every because depending on your parts and condition so you're getting paid for the restoring of the car that red dot has sorted the percentage of what that bonus is worth 
not so that you can steal parts here, stick them on your car here, and then pass it off while you're ripping off customers. So the repair bench for most mechanics like myself, this was really a good deal. And uh, we had no problems with it. It was actually great. But then again, we're going around fixing the customer's car. Anyways, you would then have everything you need, and then you just try to sell it. And you just bank money on it. So you're not losing anything. The only thing that was lost is, is anything that you wasted your time working on here to stick on a customer's car because you're a dirty shop. So you're probably wondering, what does that have to do with 2018? Well, it's simple. That has not changed in the customer's car. This shows you the basis of what the vehicle's interior condition was and whatnot. For the same reason that it shows you in 2015. Because if you grab stuff and remove stuff, you always run the risk that the, uh, the game is going to go up there and turn around and say, well, this part has to be replaced because you touched it. That's why. So that setting has not changed. Because even when I turn around and I go to use the on the um, on that uh, uh, what do you call that the the ones that use the um, what do you guys call the missions? This thing here. Sometimes you will have to take off four or five parts because this is 100% and there will be some parts that are 90 that don't need to be replaced. But because you touched them and put them back on, you may have to change them out just so that the car can go. And that is why those cars have a condition list. So it is not there so that, it is there so that you can restore your car. It is not there so that you could rip off the customer by taking all the parts. So, what's the big deal? In this repair bench, on a new one, you are now charged. This money is not going to be applied. Everything about the first one I explained is the same. The difference is, is that you are now paying for it. And probably done that way. The more it gets replay, repaired that needs to be done, you are charged each amount of money. Can you hear the change? And whatever breaks, you're out of that money. And it's not going to get applied. It's just going to be lost. Because that's the way it is. Because that is the new system that is here. So this new system, I could say the bright side about the new system is that if you're going to rip off a customer to restore one of your vehicles, you sure will pay for that first before you think you'll get away with it. Because that's the only accomplishment that's going to come. Somebody once said, it's more real that way. I disagree. I disagree because I've never seen it. And I worked in a shop. And the shop's costs are all re are based on by the repair of the vehicle. The repair of that vehicle isn't free. It isn't solely only for the mechanic. There is a reason for that repair on that vehicle, for what it's being used for. So, what I, now, I'm not saying don't use the table. That's, com that's completely on you. For some people, it, it doesn't bother them. They, they'd rather do that because it, does, it may not cost as much as restoring everything by buying it new. So, I'm just here to explain to you how all this works. Because there are people between videos and the forums that have never been in the other two games so they don't know so I'm explaining to you how this works you repair something on the bench table you will be paying for that every single time so therefore if you're one of them dirty shoppers who like to rip off your customers you are still going to be paying for that but I replace everything new and I'll tell you what I've been doing pretty okay I think
even though that everything's been placed renew I sure didn't get to 900,000 by fixing cars I'll tell you that because on level 33 and this car here has been sitting like since a long time ago and that's one of them work order cars that are called the mission vehicles see and I have over nine something hundred thousand what half of my shop opened up okay well I'm done with that I think I, I explained that enough that everybody can understand the choice is up to you I'm not going to tell you don't use it I'm not going to tell you to use it that is completely up to you what you do I'm just here to show you what's going on with it and that's it moving on